Hello everyone! Today we are going to take a look at the subscription billing module combined with project management and accounting. Previously we covered the subscription billing module in a series of videos. You can find them by the link. Overall, subscription billing enables organizations to manage subscription revenue opportunities and recurrent billing through billing schedules. Complex pricing and billing models and revenue allocation are easily managed and are built and recognized at the line level. In the latest updates, Microsoft added new features to connect subscription billing with project management and accounting module. Now it is possible to use recurrent contract billing and revenue and expense deferrals functionality with projects. Let's discuss both functionalities. On some time and material projects, a customer may have to be billed on a recurrent basis for all or part of the project. For example, for one project that you have with the customer, the customer agrees to pay for a monthly subscription for a services cloud storage and support. A billing schedule can be used to set up the recurrent charge, and the project invoice proposal can be used to do the billing. This approach helps streamline the customer billing because project transactions and recurrent billing charges can be included in the project invoice proposal. Now let's look at how it should be done in the interface. You can create a new billing schedule right from your project. Everything is fulfilled automatically from your project. You only need to select the billing start date and number of periods. Now you have your billing schedule created. Here you add your service items for cloud storage and support services. Configure frequency, price, quantity, etc. Each of your lines has the reference to the project. From your billing schedule, you can create a new project invoice. Moreover, you can set up periodic operations to generate invoices automatically. You can either post invoices automatically or only create it and modify it. With the right configuration, billing schedules can help IT companies make their invoicing process easier. Instead of creating the same invoices each month, it can be now done in two clicks. Now let's look at deferrals with projects. On some time and material projects, the revenue or cost may have to be deferred and recognized over a period. For example, for one project, the customer agrees to pay for a yearly subscription for services such as cloud storage or support. A deferral schedule can be created to enable project revenue for the service to be recognized monthly. This approach helps manage revenue for the project because it can be recognized when it's earned. System allows you to configure deferrals for four different categories of transactions separately for hours, fees, items and expenses. Moreover, you can configure separately costs and revenue deferrals if it is necessary to. If you turn on deferrals when you try to post new project transactions, you will see additional setup for deferrals. After the posting, system will automatically create deferral schedules so you could easily maintain and recognize your expenses and revenue. Recognition process can be automated by periodic operations in the system. In conclusion, new subscription billing functionality can make your invoicing and revenue recognition processes easier and save your manager's time. That's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit a bell button to always stay tuned. See you in the next videos.